All vertebrates are members of this phylum, but there are also some invertebrate chordates, such as lancelets and tunicates, or sea squirts. Chordates are distinguished by some important morphological traits. The figure on the screen is a generalized diagram of a chordate body, viewed from the side. At some point in their development, all chordates have a notochord, a flexible, supportive rod of tissue running through the back of the animal. In vertebrates, this rod is replaced by the vertebral column later in development. Chordates also have a hollow nerve cord. In vertebrates, this becomes the spinal cord and brain of the adult. Chordates have a distinctive feature associated with their pharynx, the part of the digestive tract that follows the mouth. The pharynx of a chordate has slits that open to the outside of the animal. The slits develop into structures involved in feeding, breathing, and hearing. Most chordates also have a tail extending beyond the anus at some point in their development. Vertebrates are a subgroup of chordates, distinguished by their vertebral column or backbone, composed of hard segments called vertebrae. The vertebral column is the main supportive structure for the vertebrate's body. Vertebrates also have a protective brain case, which together with the vertebral column, protects the animal's central nervous system. These features, along with their well-developed sensory organs, are adaptations that allow for large size and quick movement. The first vertebrates were aquatic creatures. Their fossils trace back to the Cambrian period. By the end of the Silurian period, vertebrates with jaws had appeared. The vertebrate jaw is hinged and works up and down. It was an important adaptation for feeding, and most vertebrates today have jaws. The lamprey, a jawless fish with a sucker mouth, is an exception. The evolution of the jaw allowed vertebrates to dominate the seas, and soon after, vertebrates invaded the land. We'll look at their descendants, the present-day fishes and land vertebrates, next. The first jawed vertebrates were fishes. The two groups of jawed fishes living today are distinguished by their skeletons. Cartilaginous fishes have skeletons composed of cartilage, a strong but flexible tissue. These are the sharks and rays and their relatives. All other jawed fishes are known as bony fishes. They have skeletons composed of bone. In addition to the gills used for gas exchange underwater, a few living bony fishes have lungs for breathing air. It's likely that a prehistoric air-breathing fish related to modern lungfish gave rise to the first land vertebrate, an ancient amphibian.